हे गाइज वन मराठे हियर एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू ऑल द चेंजेस दैट द थर्ड बीटा ऑफ वन यू आई ऑन सैमसंग गैलेक्सी नोट नाइन हैज ब्रॉड सो आई रिसीव द अपडेट जस्ट टूडे एंड आई फर्स्टली शो यू दैट विच सॉफ्टवेयर वर्जन इट इज सो एज यू कैन सी ओवर हियर वी हैव वन यू आई वर्जन वन पॉइंट ओ स्टिल बट इन द एंड वी कैन सी वी हैव द जनवरी वन ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन सिक्योरिटी पैच सो वी हैव रिसीव इट अराउंड थ्री डेज prior to the new year which is good uh, now there are not many visual changes which are there but i'll try to show you the list which uh, they showed so here we go uh, the they have done many bug fixes over here which uh, the notable ones being the 5 gigahertz setting which was not visible in mobile hotspot is there right now uh, they also it is listed that a notification icon operator and clock is shifted to the right Uh, which is not the case as you can see it is still there on the left so i don't know if that is a bug again and uh, another there are these many changes which are there ui fixes and crashes personally i didn't face this many issues but uh, uh, they are just minor so i'll go by showing you what all has changed now the very first thing that you will notice is the theme store now works So previously, when we used to actually open this, it used to show that the in beta version the themes store is not supported. But this is not there right now. So if you go in themes and you select a particular theme, let's say this uh, theme right here, and you click on click, click on apply, it will actually apply. But the only problem in this is it will have some kind of a problem uh, when you see the UI just does not fit properly. But good thing is it has started working right now which was not there previously so as you can see over here the ui elements again have changed uh, but uh, it's very clear that the elements with the toggles which are off are shown in this white background so yeah these are some problems which the beta version still has but i think with the coming updates uh, these problems are going to be solved so let's get shifted to the default theme very quickly Uh, apart from this we have changes in the lock screen settings over here so when we go in the settings panel and we move in the lock screen settings in the face widgets we have the weather application to be shown on always on display so this is a new addition which was not there in the previous version it's a welcome change if you like to see the weather on the go without actually touching your phone or uh, opening it you can just do it from the always on display so definitely this is a very welcome change another major change which is there uh, but i was not able to test it very distinctly i'll do it later on uh, if i find any changes but the changes is in the sound settings so when you go in the settings and you go in the sound option in the bottom we have the advanced sound settings here we have the sound quality and effects so this is the addition which they have made dolby atmos for gaming So according to this uh, you know if you are actually gaming the sound will be tweaked and you will be getting a better experience now i tried playing pubg with this setting on and uh, the only difference that i noticed was the quality of the sound was little better than previous it was less loud because uh, i i just played the game before actually uh, downloading the update so during that time uh, it was loud so the loudness is reduced but the quality of the sound has improved so but it is not that apparent in the video or in the audio as well so i'll try to test it with headphones and i'll give the update about it and the another last uh, change which we have over here right now is the navigation bar toggle so previously in order to actually get the navigation bar uh, over here we had to go deep in the settings but right now we just have it uh, we have a toggle over here and if you just uh, toggle it on and off the navigation bar will appear so definitely it's a very welcome change because uh, it is now very good and it is accessible so it is definitely a welcome change the problems which i faced in the first update are existing here as well so the one number one problem is here so the music widget which is there of samsung music application it it just does not work you know until you actually start the application it does not work so i have reported it previously as well the problem still persists so maybe uh, samsung will fix it in the final version and another thing which i find that it is an issue maybe uh, other people are not noticing it so much 
But as you can see, when you open the keyboard application over here, on the bottom we have a lot of space which is wasted. Uh, I just think that uh, the UI is still under the impression that you have the navigation gesture buttons over there, which is not the case. So the keyboard should be shifted lower. You know, the basic theme of One UI is that uh, it, it should be easy to actually use the uh, application with one hand. But the keyboard is slightly shifted upwards. Uh, maybe it's a bug or it is done intentionally so that it is easier for you to reach the corner elements other than going way down over here. It might be the case but personally I think there should be an option to shift the entire keyboard downwards so that it is accessible depending on uh, how people like it. So yeah that's it guys these are all the uh, changes that I found in the new One UI Beta 3 update that I received. As you all know that S9 and S9 Plus uh, have started receiving the stable Android Pie version for Samsung. So this is definitely a welcome change. And uh, I think Note 9 will get it in January, uh, sometime in late January or in mid January. So we are definitely waiting for it. And I think this is a very nice update personally. And uh, it has given a new fresh breath to the Note series and Samsung series with this change as it is one of the biggest change Samsung has ever made. And personally I am liking it very much and uh, I hope you like it as well. Uh, I'll update you with all the changes which are there if I find any while using the device more and uh, stay tuned. If you have any, any questions about this, feel free to write in the comments and I'll try to reply to every one of them. Uh, if you haven't seen my video about the previous updates, uh, you can just uh, go through my channel and you will get those videos because the previous few videos are about this only and I'll definitely make a video about the final version as well. So if you like the video guys, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.